everyone, welcome to the Tars 370. I'm reviewing this, which is the McFarlane Toys Batman from Batman vs. Superman. As you can see, this is really cool. We got them in box here. We have Batman, Batman vs. Superman, and on the back of the box, we have the poster. It's so cool seeing Batman vs. Superman toys uh, in the wild. Again, here we have Batman out of boxes. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Uh, you get the grapple gun, two fists, two batterings, a trading card, and a base. You get a lot of accessories with this Batman, which is pretty cool. Um, and on the back there, you do have a bio from Batman vs. Superman, which is pretty cool. And then taking a look at Batman himself. As you can see, he looks great. I think McFarlane has done a great job with Ben Affleck here. Um, I do think the likeness isn't as good as it is in the, the what is it, the six-pack of Batmans, but it definitely looks really good. You can definitely tell it's Ben Affleck, and I think it looks great. I love the molded detail on his mask and his face, and then also the suit itself. It's like this gray. I do think it's a little, I don't know if it's necessarily the right color gray, but it does look good, and it has so much texture on it. Um, but yeah, the likeness is definitely there to Ben, uh, a lot more so than the Flash one they released last year. The Bat emblem looks amazing too i also love the bat wings on there and he's got the gold belt um but yeah i feel like the gray isn't as gray as it was in the movie i don't know um but it does look good and it has so much texture going on it like i mean it's got a lot of detail on this uh for 22 dollars batman with all these accessories and detailing it's really cool and uh, getting the gauntlets to focus there, you can kind of see they got a little bit going on there as well as the boots, which are really nice. And uh, speaking of accessories here, let's go over to the accessories. We got the battering, and I do think the battering is a little bit too big to how it should be, but it is still pretty cool. I don't know if this is the same one they made for Justice League. You do get two of these, and I absolutely love that you get two of these. Um, yeah, and he can fit those in his hand, but again, to me, they look a little bit, but still, I'm excited about it. You also get the grapnel gun. It's not painted, but it is so cool that they include the grapnel gun. I absolutely love the style they used in B. BVS. It just looks so good, and I love that he can hold this in his hand there. I also love that you get fisted hands. I don't think I'm going to show them in this video, uh, just because I don't really like changing hands out. Um, but yeah, it is cool that you get that for that option. And the best part about this is they include a cloth cape. And again, you're getting all of this for $22, which is kind of an amazing deal. I mean, you can't get that. I mean, honestly, all of this and accessories. Like, this is probably the best Batman on the market that McFarlane has put out in a long time. But the cloth capes are good. I love the way McFarlane does them, too, because they have so much room so you can actually drape them over his shoulders like he's actually doing the iconic batman pose with the cape hanging over him so um yeah i really love when they do these um and i love that it's a cloth cape too um you know i do kind of prefer plastic capes but if they're going to do cloth capes i like them like this where you have a lot of room and you can kind of move them around and do them however you like uh so there's a lot of fun you can have this and again i just love how that cape hangs over there uh definitely like having my batmans on display like this the ones with the capes like this and uh he just looks great um and i really think you know for for 22 dollars you are getting an amazing value here. The cloth cape alone, I think, kind of like really makes this, even if you don't necessarily like Batman v Superman, I really think the cloth cape is uh, definitely a reason to pick this up. But all the accessories include, you know, this really feels like a love letter uh, to Batman v Superman. And I absolutely love this suit too. So, I mean, like this is probably my favorite movie suit. So it's just great. Now, in terms of articulation, you have a 360 at the head. You can also move that head up and down. You know, it's McFarlane. You can kind of move around. You got all kinds of poses. You can put them in there. And then you also have 360 at the arms there. You can swing them out the shoulders. You have 360 and double jointed elbows there. You got 360s at the wrist, the torsos moves, and the legs forwards and backwards and outwards, as well as double joint knees. The legs of mine are really stiff, but that's not too big of an issue with me. Um, and then, yeah, but you can get them to bend there, and then the feet move up and down and go side to side, and then you have the toe articulation. So in terms of articulation, 22 points, exactly what you expect with McFarlane, but not necessarily a bad thing to say the least. I think that's a pretty good uh, range of movement there. Now, here's a comparison with Batman uh, from Justice League as you can see. Um, it's so nice to finally have Ben's main suit. I mean, we've had the Justice League suit for years, and I really like that Batman. I think it's a great McFarlane, uh, but I, I'm not going to lie. Finally having him in his main suit that he wore as his main continuity Batman is a but yeah, it's really cool, and it's cool having both of them in the collection. I think they both look great. Um, like I said, I, I am really excited we finally have this main one. Here's a comparison with the original uh, Mattel Batman vs. Superman. It's kind of hard to say between the two of them, because honestly, I do love that original Mattel one, but I definitely think the McFarlane one beats it in articulation, and again, just the cape is overall a lot nicer. Um, and yeah, the emblem is cool too. Um, I do wish it had the gold paint. That is the only thing I kind of really miss. Like, it had the gold knuckles. Um, but overall, I think this is great. I think this is an amazing value for what you're getting. Um, I know we joke McFarlane makes way too many Batmans. It's just really special, and that cape alone makes it worth it. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.